the home of singer-songwriter Janice Buckner, the New York Metro region of the Children's Music Network gathers for a workshop to celebrate the positive power of music in the lives of children by sharing songs, exchanging ideas, and creating community. We sing a pony polka. Well, I started my career in children's music about uh, 1986, a year before my daughter came. And I was also a member at the time of PMN, which stands for People's Music Network, that was uh, started by Pete Seeger and Charlie King and a few other people. And that organization uh, was put together to um, bring together singers, songwriters, musicians, anybody who's interested in music for social justice causes or, you know, issue-oriented music. I'm gonna lay down my sword and shield down by the riverside. And then uh, we discovered there, that there were a few members that were doing children's music. And we thought, why don't we spin off another organization and call it the Children's Music Network. So that started around 1990, I'm guessing, and it's been going for 26 years now. My connection with CMN, I came in very early on, uh, not quite as early as Patricia, but probably within the first few years of it being founded, and the national gatherings were amazing. These uh, little regional workshops take all, all forms. Some people hold them in libraries. Go, cowgirl, go! I love it when it's in someone's house. This is my second time hosting it, and I always love to eat, so we always make it a potluck. But to me, being at home and near a fireplace just makes it all the more cozy. The Children's Music Network has been an enormous resource. I just feel the excitement and all the, the potential for interchange and learning and <clears throat> sharing. So, The gathering is open to CMN members as well as non-members looking to network, share songs and ideas, and to inspire each other about the empowering ways adults and young people can communicate through music. I don't have a lot of opportunity to meet with a lot of musicians and I know this group of people is very, very good at what they do and very generous and energetic and it, they're just wonderful to be around. I do music therapy with kids so I write a lot of the music and I adapt a lot of the music from other songs so that I can use it to help teach my kids through the tool that is music. One thing that really unites us is that most of our music has social content. You know, we do silly songs too and songs about colors and animals, but I think the main thing with CMN, the Children's Music Network, is that we're concerned with putting forth positive values for children so that they learn to love the earth, that they learn to cooperate with each other, they learn to respect each other and the earth. So content is really important. Here was all this fabulous music that was educational about peace and ecology and different abilities and no one knew about it. So Children's Music Network really worked. We didn't even know about each other. Many of us were isolated in what we were doing. It brought together people who wanted to teach through music. We want to live the values that we teach our children, mm -hmm. so yeah. through music. Right. And I always thought that music is just a wonderful vehicle. If you need a song on any topic, if you have a need area, like you want to work with kids, kids maybe who are sick with um, diseases, and they, in a summer camp, I've looked up songs to help um, sing for those kids. And the people in the group just come to the rescue and they give you song after song after song. I'm thinking of a woman The world was dark and silent I'm thinking of a woman She was deaf and blind Learned from Annie Sullivan There is a huge wealth of information uh, coming from people, coming from therapists and teachers and performers and, and it's awesome. It's a great way to teach. We are all teachers, musicians, songwriters, librarians, parents, anybody who's interested in the intersection between music and children. People really uh, are into sharing and giving and um, learning and teaching from each other. It's a very, very generous group. It's a very loving group funny group, very smart group. It's amazing the depth of 
the information that they have and the knowledge that they have. It's, it's just the most amazing group I've ever been a part of. For Push Pause in Huntington, this is Greg Blank.